Meet my younger sister, Rhea. She plays soccer and basketball, excels in math, and loves hanging out with her friends. And like most 12-year-olds, she has a lot of attitude and is very opinionated. But what you probably can't tell by just looking at Rhea is that she has a profound hearing loss and uses a surgically implantable device to hear. So you may wonder, what can and can't Rhea do? More importantly, what does Rhea think she can and can't do? In other words, what are Rhea's perceptions in her capabilities to successfully plan and carry out desired tasks and behaviors, a concept known as self-efficacy. An effective way of measuring an individual's self-efficacy is through the use of questionnaires. However, after I conducted a literature review on, on, on self-efficacy questionnaires related to hearing laws, I discovered that the only three available ones targeted an adult population. So what about the self-efficacy of over 7 million adolescents in US and Canada? Therefore, the objective of my graduate work has been to fill this existing gap in self-efficacy questionnaires related to hearing loss. To do so, I explored the activities that adolescents like Rhea participate in regularly, regardless of their hearing abilities. I refer to the World Health Organization's conceptual framework, the International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health, the ICF, and more specifically, the child and youth version, to ensure that the questions we included in our questionnaire were all encompassing. Although, let me tell you, they didn't include younger siblings' abilities to be a pain in the neck. From this, I worded, appropriately worded, um, questions to include in our self-efficacy questionnaire, which we've termed the Adolescent Self-Efficacy Questionnaire for Hearing Loss, or the Ask HL for short, or the Ask for even shorter. We've began to validate our work, and I'll include some initial findings in my thesis. The Ask aims to probe adolescents' capabilities to successfully perform desired behaviors, such as listening to music, communicating on social media, and participating in everyday environments like a paid job. It will help identify limited activities and restricted participation, as well as prioritize areas of concern to guide intervention and set goals. We hope that by asking and following up on the right questions, we can have Rhea believing she can do it. Thank you. <laughs>